Okay, so in this table, I've already set up uh, the information. Uh, but what we're looking at is that purple uh, pixels, they start off with none of them in step zero. There are no purple pixels. Then we get eight of them. Then it stays at eight in step two, right? You remember we talked about step two kind of being uh, embedded right here. You see that in step two, we only add eight green pixels. We don't add any purple. So the purple stays at eight. And then in step four, we're going to add another eight. Then it stays at eight. Uh, sorry, then it stays at 16, and then it jumps up to 24, and it stays at 24. In other words, the purple only grows by 8 pixels every other step. And the same is true with the green, except for the first two steps, uh, step 0 and step 1. There are no green pixels. Right? There are no green pixels here. We add 8 of them in step 3, but then it stays at 8 um, for step 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is graph this, and then we'll make an equation for it. Um, so let's do our purple first, and I'm going to overlap the graphs on here, which I think is confusing. It's just that I, um, I guess I, do I have to do that? Um, no, I don't have to do that. I think we can handle both graphs on here. Um, so let's, let's, let's graph the purple. So at step zero, purple's at zero, All right, so I'll put a dot here. And then that happens until one second. At one second, purple jumps to eight, but it's at zero until one step or one second. Put an open circle there. So at the first step, where is it? Well, we go up, all the way up to 8 here. And then it stays at that until 3 seconds. So there's 3. Oop. We're at 2 seconds, 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds here, open circle. And then at 3 seconds, it goes up another 8 to 16. And then it stays there until 5 seconds when it jumps up to 24 which is off my graph. So these, this is the purple. You see these steps right here, these kind of weird lines. Now what's happening with the open circle is that if I look at step one, open circle means don't include. It's exclusive. So if I look at the first step, I go through the open circle, look up, okay, and this is where I am. So at one second, there are, I look up here, there are eight pixels. And that's true right until exactly three seconds when there are, look through that, 16 pixels, and it stays at 16, 16, 16, until we hit five seconds when it's gonna jump up off my graph to 24. Um, so this is called a step function. And then if we look at the green here, uh, green stays at zero until two seconds. So um, I'm gonna draw the green slightly above the purple, right? But you should know that this doesn't mean it's actually above it. I'm just doing that so you can see one or the other separate. Right, so you can see it. This is green. It stays at zero until two seconds. And then at two seconds, it jumps up to eight here. And then it stays there until uh, it stays at eight until three seconds. Sorry, until four seconds, and then it jumps to 16. So we're at two, three, four, and it jumps up to 16 here. It's like the, the you can see that the, the green is just the purple, which shifted over slightly. It's like a slight delay. And it, the only confusing thing might be like this little purple segment down here. So you can actually think of it as like being extended to here. The negative one. So you can see that one of these functions is just shifted over from the other. Now you could use function transformations to go between these, uh, but we're not going to do that topic yet um, in our class. So, um, or at least at this time we're not. So I'm going to look at it a different way. I'm going to analyze these individually. And the formulas uh, that tell us what will happen at step 100 um, are really interesting to me at least, and I hope you find them interesting as well. So for the purple, check this out, for the purple uh, and for the green. The formula, the only difference between them is that one formula we're going to round up and the other formula we're going to round down. So that rounding up, um, that function for the purple, it's look like this, check it out, it's purple based on time. And I notice that my jumps are by 8, so I'm thinking of my slope as 8. But it's not constant, not always jumping up at 8. So I need to do some rounding in here. And that's where this, the ceiling function comes in. It has this cool bracket like this. That means round up. We take our time. And it depends on the function, of course. But a lot of the step functions I'm coming across, we use division. And we divide by the number that equals the um, length of your step. What? Well, my steps here, um, in all these cases, are 2 seconds. Um, so it stays at 8 for 2 seconds here, uh, I'm inc being inclusive. So 1 and 2. I know it's only a 1 second gap in there, right? Um, 
So from one to two is only one second, but if I say, how many seconds are we at eight? Well, we're at it for the first step and the second step. So I said, and again, I'm sorry about my notation. Look at my note here. Wrote, steps are two seconds wide. I should have said, for two steps, we're at a certain level. That's I, My brain was going between seconds and steps. But I'm, I'm saying there are two steps here, both with eight. Two steps with 16, two with 24. So I divided by two, and it tends to help me write the function. And then for green, and I'll show you how these functions work in a moment, it's almost identical. The only difference for green is that instead of rounding up, we round down. Eight with a floor function like this. Now, these functions produce these graphs, and let's talk about how we know that. So to figure this out, I'm going to plug in p of 0, p of 1, p of 2, and then I'll, I'll stop at p of 3 just so you can see what's happening. Then I'll do the same for green. So how, how do we do this? Well, p of 0, I'm, going to, I'm not going to write out each step. It'll take too long, but I'm going to show you. So p of 0 means plug in 0 for t. So we look inside the brackets and we do the division first. Zero divided by two is zero. Now when we say round up, we mean round up or down to the nearest integer or whole number. So in our case here, zero divided by two is zero and we're already at an integer, so we don't need to round. And then zero times eight is zero. That makes sense. Purple is at zero at step zero, yay. What about when we plug in one? One divided by two is a half. We round up to the nearest whole number well, if we round a half up to the nearest whole number, that's 1, and 1 times 8 is 8, which is the correct number of purple pixels at step 1. And then we stay at 8 for p of 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 again. There's no need to round up or down to the nearest integer. 1 is an integer. Remember, integers are just positive or negative whole numbers. And then 1 times 8 is 8. 3. 3 divided by 2, or 3 cut in half is 1 and a half. Rounded up is 2, and 2 times 8 is 16 which is the correct number of pixels at step three. And I encourage you to do the same thing for green. If you plug in different time dot values for green, you will get these values here, um, which I think is remarkably cool that this works. So um, often with step functions that I'm coming across, we can think of the jump number. And if I'm wrong, let me know. I, I don't think I am, but this number out here helps me think of the kind of the vertical gap between steps. And this number here helps me think of the distance of a step. Notice both of my, my step functions start at zero. Um, we could think, well, what would happen if I add some number to this and some number to this? And how would that shift our function around? I think I encourage you to play with that. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot. How many purple and green pixels would be at step 100? Let's plug it in. Well, if we plug in 100 for p, it's actually going to, they're going to be equal. So 100 divided by 2 is 50, no need to round. And because it's a whole number and there's no need to round, that's why the green and purple are equal. So um, 100 divided by 2 is 50 times 8 is 400. So it'll be 400 purple pixels. And if we plug it in for green as well, we also get 400 pixels. And that makes sense. It goes back to our earlier problem. At step 100, we said there are 800 uh, purple and green pixels, which is what we have here if we put these together. Isn't that great? Yeah, math is awesome. All right, take care.